Wake up YouTube, Pots here coming at you from Iron Out Fat. Got a little video request asking about my homemade pulley system. So I'm gonna quickly go through that and show you how I did it and a little bit about it. So as you can see here, everything here is from a hardware store. It's just a regular carabiner. You got some clothesline, that's all it is, is some uh, thicker clothesline and it's wrapped around your little piece of steel here. You can buy that any, at any hardware store. And I've got uh, some clamps holding that together. The tape is just so the, uh, the frayed metal doesn't prick you. Okay, so here we have the first wheel and pulley system out of the uh, one side. This is only one side, obviously. You've got your one line here. Went to a regular hardware store again, bought a regular thick bracket and I bent it myself. I've got a, a bolt here with some washers, but this wheel though, I did order this wheel specifically from Amazon and it's specifically for your regular pulley system. So it's a, it's a ball bearing, nice smooth wheel. I tried some generic pulleys from Canadian Tire and they were not smooth, they're creaky and they made a lot of noise. So I decided that I had to go somewhat in a professional direction for this. They're cheap, I bought four of them. Each one was like, I don't know, four bucks or eight bucks or something. And it's really nice and smooth, mimics a regular pulley system. Up here, you can see that uh, I've got another carabiner and a big lag bolt into my uh, beam. And that uh, allows it to twist and move if I need to. And it's got a little bit of freedom of motion. So we move along here and you can see the line comes back to another identical wheel as the previous one. And it comes down and it's the same similar setup where you got your carabiner and your line, but here is some galvanized piping. As you can see here, I drilled a hole in the top of this cap and I have an eye bolt with two nuts that are locked together and it goes straight on this pipe here. And this pipe is smaller obviously than the diameter of your Olympic plate weights. And then this is just another piece of, I don't know what it's for. I, I really don't. I just picked it up because it fit on the end of this and your weights won't fall off of it. So there you go. That's what holds the weight. I'll show you here how that works. So here you go. Uh, what I do is I unclip it from the carabiner. I take, I take my weight, whether 10 pounds or five pounds, put it on there. As you can see, it doesn't fall out. You rehook it up. So now, as you can see, if you pull on this, it pulls that up. And that's your that's your weight. And I've got another one on the other side. Now, one thing to note is I do I have it about a foot away from the wall here. And even though it's a foot away, it's still sometimes if you get into the rhythm, it'll swing and it might tap your wall. So if you have anything like drywall or any wall that can be damaged by the weight, you might want to bring your setup away from the wall a bit more. That way it doesn't hit it. But for me, it only taps it really lightly, maybe once or twice during a chest routine because that's what I use this for is my cable crossovers. Right. Well, that is my video on my homemade cable pulley crossover system. If you like this video, you know what to do. Comment, like, subscribe, and share that shit with everybody you know. Till next time.